Beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Now, this is a very interesting story. The Bible tells us that in the country of the gatherings, Jesus himself, I want to see, um, I want us to read from verse 12 to verse 15. There's something I want to, I want to show you there. Deliverance through transformation. Now watch this. And the devils besought him saying, send us into the swine that we may enter into them. So spirits now at the back of a man's madness. Are we together? And then, and forthwith, Jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and there were about 2,000. Can you imagine that? And were choked in the sea, 14. And they that fed the swine, follow me now, and told it in the city, fled, sorry, and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what that was done. 15. Sitting and clothed and in his right mind. Jesus didn't just leave him. He knew that something needed to be done to his mind too. It was not just his spirit that needed to be right. So when Jesus casted that devil, he didn't wave him and say, go. He said, come and join this teaching ministry that will need to transform your mind. And the Bible says they came and met him sitting in his right mind. You can be delivered with a wrong mind. Are you listening to me now? It matters that we must engage this dimension of deliverance. The dimension of reorienting our spiritual understanding. This one comes through the ministry. The teaching ministry of the word is how people experience this dimension of deliverance. And I can tell you sincerely speaking, this dimension of deliverance is very scarce in the church. To teach the word does not mean to declare and to preach. We generally say you are a preacher. A teacher of a word is an explainer. One who brings the saints into a comprehension of the character, the person, and the working knowledge of the word. You have no reason to have weekly gatherings as a man of God if you are not teaching the word. You can be an evangelist and come into a land three days, win the souls, apologize for the sound, and I think there's noise somewhere. I'm sure they're working on it. Are we together now? You can come in as an evangelist. You can come in as a missionary and even stay three months, five months within a city. But if you ever trust God for a church, a ministry, a platform where you meet with people consistently, then it doesn't matter what spiritual office you operate. You must trust God for grace to be a teacher of the word. Otherwise, the saints will never experience this dimension of deliverance. 
say deliverance through transformation this entails reorienting your spiritual understanding this entails opening you up to the nature the character and the systems of the kingdom when your mind is enlightened you are open to the nature of god the character of god then the mysteries the systems the principles of the kingdom is taught you when that happens that door that is a stronghold for demons to access your life is closed and closed once and for all let me give you an instance let's assume that an individual is suffering from the ministry of um let's say there's hardship are we together now the spirit come promise he likes to talk about increase so let me use him watch this let's assume that this gentleman here has all kinds of hardship in his life let's even assume his finances and now i pray for him because say by revelation i see that there is a spirit behind that tragedy did you know that if i pray for him he may fall down and stand up he may even experience an instant testimony by evening someone will give him maybe a little check or some money 10,000 20,000 whatever it is but this gentleman will not sustainably stay delivered until I teach him the kingdom principle allocated for keeping the spirit of poverty at bay forever are you getting what I'm saying now now I prayed for him and through the advantage listen carefully there is a prophetic covering over him and he may enjoy some level of results by the reason of that prophetic speaking over his life. But for sustainable result, to personally keep the spirit of poverty at bay, he must understand the economic system of the kingdom. Failure to do that will only recycle his pain. It's a matter of time. Notice that demon spirits have observed the carelessness of people in the body especially men of god that we are not thorough in creating spiritual enlightenment so they are not afraid to live are we together so i can look at him before i touch him ah he's manifesting the spirit goes and he gets up and he's happy and i hug him i say okay so go and prosper it is done it is not done i assure you it is not done halfway done that guy, remember the Bible says that spirit will go around and say, I will return to my house. He will come back and find the mental construction of that individual still conducive for his operation. He won't enter alone. He will gather more wicked spirits of poverty, higher than him, and then return to that man. That's why you find out that people receive miracles and breakthroughs. And two weeks later, it looks like everything just knows dives. They refuse to engage in transformation. And sometimes it is members that put that pressure on pastors. They are not trained to sit down and receive the word. We want sharp, sharp everything. Are we together? Man of God, why is my life like this? I, I have watched with shock how that sometimes people can tell me, Apostle A, B, C, D is wrong with my life. And then I tell them, okay, listen to the following messages. And then come and see me afterwards. Maybe listen to gaining spiritual stature. Listen to this and that. And they just say thank you. And sometimes I can even point and say the media stand is there. Just go there and they'll give you the teachings. They will laugh and do as if they are going to turn. And then turn around, just greet and say, sir, just touch my head. That's all me I want. You see that? It's a sign that many of those people may not receive complete deliverance. And the danger is that if they don't receive it, they will go back and then in their frustration they'll say this man of god may not really be a man of god are we together have you been to the hospital where a doctor will give you an injection now there's that one you take it immediately you turn and receive it right now and then he can now tell you okay there's this drug in addition to that injection take this morning afternoon evening for five days after five days return back and let me look at your condition are we together now if you take that injection you can decide to go back and be careless it's amazing how your health is dependent on those drugs and then you don't take them and after five days you return and say doctor something is wrong and the doctor said no if you did what i told you i already know what should happen so i'm surprised that this is not happening transformation through the word 
he came and met the man in his right mind. Remember that the man later became an evangelist and won the Decapolis, 10 cities, because his mind was right. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, when you read from verse 1 and 2, specifically verse 2, it says, um, and do not be conformed to this world. I've taught you again and again, the Greek word there is the word aeon, the thinking pattern that comes with a dispensation. Do not be conformed to this world. It says, but be ye transformed. Everybody say, be ye transformed. It's not an advice. Be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Transformation. Renewing your mind is deliverance. It is the scriptural way to close the door that authorizes spirit entities to find expression in a person. Transformation. Transformation. Transformation is the way you become spiritual. A spiritual man is just, it's not just one who prays in tongues. A spiritual man is not just one who serves in church. Listen carefully. A spiritual man is not just one who is ordained. A spiritual man is not just one who is serving in a department. A spiritual man is one who has exalted the word of God. Listen very carefully. And the ways of God above the senses. So that man is governed not by his sensory perceptions, but by the word of God. When the word of God becomes the vista, your, your plane of looking at life, you are a spiritual man. You can pray in tongues and ignore the word, you are not a spiritual man. Most times we convince ourselves that just because we find ourselves around dissipating spiritual energy, Committed in spiritual activities. We believe that because we have done that for a long time. We are spiritual. No. That may be religion. True spirituality is measured by how much the word of God. Has not just found expression in your life. But has been received. And the degree to which you are living by it. Many people are not spiritual. You know it by how they respond to life. A little challenge and you see them talking and you are wondering. Ah. After five years in church, ah, I'm stomach pain. I'm dying. Everybody, we, ah, bah, no. The word of God is supposed to become a culture, a way of life. It influences your mind. It influences everything about you. The Bible says to be spiritually minded. It says to be carnally minded is death. Not will make you die. It's already death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace he says set your minds above where Christ is seated are we together now you can set your gaze not by looking up by indoctrinating yourself with the truth of God's word such that you are immovable you are unbendable that's what it means to be spiritual when you are transformed and you experience this dimension of deliverance you now tear down the strongholds that operate in your life through thought patterns. Everybody say thought patterns. Please shout it. Say thought patterns. Check every territory where spirits seem to gain grounds. The way those spirits gain grounds is by making sure they create a mind control system. So that the average person within that spiritual climate thinks in a certain way. I'll give you an instance. And please, I don't want you to feel embarrassed or whatever i am not insulting any territory but for instance if you see a territory where there is a high rate of maybe people getting pregnant without marriage you find out that it's not just a wicked spirit that is working there there is also a mindset are we together that a lady of 12 years can be pregnant and the father can say i'm proud of you i mean i can't believe you did this this is this is this is fantastic Meaning by tithing, you have settled the devourer. Yet you find out that that man's life does not change. Call for 
any kind of meeting that will give financial intelligence, he will look at you and say, no, it's not for us. You can go and uh, if God will bless me, he will bless me. So mindsets. We come from different territories. Some of us come from territories where it is easy for anger to come because revenge is part of the way the culture is built. Don't let anybody take you for granted. An eye for an eye. If somebody touches you, give it back to him sevenfold as a sign that you are not weak. So in such cultures, if you don't revenge, you are, you are tainted as being weak. So now you are born again. And a brother offends you and there is that itch to revenge. And what a joy. A spirit has found a platform. And the spirit of anger comes. And before you know it, you wind your hand and give your wife a slap. And suddenly remember that you, you, you are supposed to have crucified the old man at the cross. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you. You know you are transformed when it takes a long time to trace you to a culture. Let me say it again. You know you are transformed. Aside from the physiological, the physiological features that can show that, okay, you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, you are Igbo, you are South-South, and all of that. Aside from that, there should be such a level of, of an excellent approach to life based on the word of God. That if it is based on your communication, I should find a hard time knowing whether you are Yoruba or Hausa or Igbo. It's a sign that the word of God has superimposed your culture and your cultural limitation. Sadly, I can look at people and almost in a heartbeat just say, you are from here. Yes, you are from here. Yes. The way you are behaving, it looks like you are from Plateau State. Say, yes, sir. Say, huh? They are all like that. The way you are, it looks like Kaduna Abi. You look to me like you are, are you from Delta? I'm from Delta. How did you know? How do I know? Am I, am I mad? That's not a very, that's not an applause. Are we together? Because it's a sign that although you claim to be in Christ, experientially, you are still holding on to the strongholds and the mindsets. Are we together? That your transformation will so shock those around you. They looked at the disciples and they wondered, ah, are this not what what suddenly happened to you they were so changed one time they wanted to go back to this their life of war again they said jesus should we command fire and jesus turned and said do you not know of what spirit you have suddenly forgotten that you are from heaven transformed someone will look at you and say i know you are going to deal with him i trust people from your place abba this guy is in for a shock. And all of a sudden, you reach out to someone in love and hug the person. And you look and you say, this is strange. You say, this is not strange. I have been called out of every tribe, of every tongue. Listen to me. Of every nation. Are we together? Yes. This is the basis. Let me tell you the truth. And I want to say something now that is, is a bit sensitive, but listen to me. I think that this is the reason why... Many people, especially our loved ones, fear certain individuals traveling or marrying or living across certain regions because they fear that based on the default experience, are we together now? There can be a problem there and they are right, except for transformation. They are right. Are we together? So someone says, oh, I want to get married to someone from the north. And the mother looks and says, is this, what, is this how you want to repay me? After, after all I've done to you, this is, this is, and then you now say, ah, the man is, is, is even, is, that's why a small church has started a work. I say, hey, he's even a man of God. It may not be your father or your mother or your relatives fault. They have observed through time that goodness, if someone within those regions accept the call, you accept the call and accept the stronghold that comes with that call too and suffer and almost, you know. But then they are amazed when they see that there is an excellent mind. Hallelujah. An excellent mind that vetoes your background. Say I've been called. Say it. Say I've been called. Out of my tribe. Out of my tongue. Out of my locality. I come from heaven. I only pass through my geographic territory. 
If you don't understand this, then we are wasting our time this night. Because when we begin to pray, we are going to tell Satan, it is true that you oppress people from Plateau State, but I'm not from there. You see that? It is true that you oppress people who are Yoruba people. It is true that you oppress Igbo people. But I only pass through there. My origin. My origin. So you don't tell me, oh, this land was dedicated to this. You may be right. But ah, I have been called. Something called me out of that tribe and tongue. Let me tell you. The fact that whatever is in your territory is still affecting you is proof that it still recognizes your cultural loyalty. Like if you are a football fan, let's assume you are a faithful football fan of, uh, give me one club side. Let me not create trouble now. Arsenal. And you are so faithful that they have your number. Even when you say I hate them, you can still get a text from them. There's a meeting tomorrow. It's a sign that they still recognize your loyalty, your fellowship. It's amazing how we keep saying we are not tied to these things and when the spiritual text is sent, you get it. <laughs> the devil says you can talk all your nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, I'm sending a general text of failure to anybody in this family and you are shocked that it reaches you. I say, no, my phone, you shouldn't receive this. That's your business. Your number was in the database. Transformation. Transformation 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 to rush to God receive instant deliverance and run away from God is only implicating yourself the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower listen he said the righteous run to it it is a he runs in and then runs out and is saved he runs into it and stays there he that dwells not he that visits he that dwells listen is the reason why many of our loved ones never receive breakthrough they hate the house of god so when they hear that there is a special program they say well since you insist let me visit and they come and experience the power of god and then they tell them be planted in the house of god mm, all this church touch thing i'm not i'm not in it please then they go back and then they find out that it's a matter of time this spirit's coming let me tell you if you are a pastor this is one of the reasons why you should trust God to have crowds come. It's not numbers. It's that you are giving God an opportunity to transform more minds. It's not all about just trying to look for a name. Oh, overflows here. We are this. I notice that there are men of God who so, I, I, maybe sometimes well-meaning insult crowds and insult pastors with large membership and make it look like it's not all about crowd. My brother, for God so love how many that sounds like a crowd to me. He didn't say for God so loved Jerusalem. He didn't say for God so loved Nazareth. For God so loved Judea. No. It is God's will that all men be saved. And then the Bible tells us that part of our ministry is to disciple nations. Have you heard that word? To disciple nations. To disciple nations. Come from the word discipline. To keep them in a position where they learn. To teach them the matters of the kingdom. You must receive an appetite for the word of God. You must receive an appetite. M members must learn the value of sitting with the word. To be mentored and to be trained. I have great respect for churches. Where the average member already knows the usefulness of sitting down. To learn Martha Martha you are worried and upset about many things one thing is needful and that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet it takes time to produce results so that your mind is changed transformed are we together so deliverance through transformation and transformation by the renewing of your mind the word of God being the principal channel for your transformation. Are you willing to submit yourself to be transformed against culture, against the, the nominal mindsets, the mainstream mindset that comes? Because let me tell you, you become more like Christ when you think like him. That I'll forever be changing after you. I'll be changing after you. Not 
not just for two days, not just for one week. That I'll forever be changed and I I'll be chasing after you. Pant after his word and pant after his presence day and night. Chapter 1 and verse 8, Joshua, the formula that God recommended for success. He says, this book of the law, so the foundation of a believer's possessing his possession, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. He says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. How long? day and night say it after me day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shall you make your ways prosperous who will make his way prosperous he says and then you will have good success this is god advising a man number three so that we'll move to the next level the third level of deliverance and this is the final level is called the discipline of conformity write it down the discipline of conformity this is where you actively participate and this is where a lot of dear brothers and sisters around the world miss it the discipline of conformity as a level of deliverance hmm. Romans chapter 8 and verse 13 and then we we'll look at Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 Romans 8 13 1 to read is projected 1 to read let's start again for if ye live after the flesh, I told you what the flesh is. A way of living. A way of thinking. Are we together? It says ye shall what? But if ye through the spirit, so you will mortify, but an agency will empower you. You are in grace, but the doing is you. I told you that grace has dimensions. Not all dimensions of grace work automatically. There is saving grace. You don't do anything. You just receive. There is grace that empowers you to do. You participate. The disciplinary dimension is your responsibility. If you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body. What will happen to you? Please talk to me. You shall live. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I mean bribery like corruption, political party. Corruption means death. Death, period, in one word, death. But he that soweth to the spirit, a man can sow to the flesh, a man can sow to the spirit, both are soils, and the Bible guarantees that the harvest is waiting for you. When you walk in bitterness, you are sowing. Oh, dear farmers, listen to me. You walk in bitterness, you are sowing. I'm born again. But what is this guy trying to show me? And you are sowing. And the Bible says a harvest will come. You don't, you don't walk with your wife. You are fighting your wife. You are sowing to the flesh. The harvest is that your heavens will be closed. The Bible said so. You are born again. You are anointed. But for being unwise in treating your wife. You pay the price with a closed heaven. That tight open. And then your disobedience shuts the heavens again. So a tightening wife Peter is plus one minus one. What's the answer? Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One of the ways to sow to the flesh is to think that God is an expert in inconveniencing and rubbishing your life. 
You know, many believers believe that when you hand over your life to God, it's a call to stupidity, especially our generation. What is this you and church? Come, darling. What is you? You're a, you a fine lady. You're a wonderful lady. I mean, there's a, a rich man somewhere. What is this church thing? You're turning your head. Don't mind this stupid apostle around. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. A man can sow to the flesh, and I promise you, whether you stop, whether you scatter the soil, it will still grow because they are all fertile soils. Could it be that many people, although the demons were casted, the discipline of conformity, discipline, the spirit of God will empower you, but you must see the value of waking up in the night to pray as a principle that helps you confirm. Are we together? Don't sit down there and say, Lord, the grace is not there. It's raining. This night is so cold and you're just fresh. You are not serious. You have to speak. You have to create your reality. Someone can meet you and say, my dear, you're a very beautiful lady. There is a bar around. God has granted you the grace. You use your mouth and say no. You can say, well, let's see how things go. You have sown to the flesh. There is a harvest coming. When you get tipsy and the truck jams you, that's the harvest. Where you snuff Tramadol and you lie down by the bridge and Mopol comes to carry you and they jail you for five years. What That's called harvest. Say harvest. Shout it. Say harvest. It doesn't matter how it came. Listen. This is not being under the law. Get the point. This is not being under the law. God is not a fool. He works with us physically. If God tells me to bless you, watch this now. If God tells me to give you 10,000, if I say come and collect, why do you come? Why do you get up and come and stretch your hand and say thank you? You are participating. It took discipline for that to happen. Are we together? Let me tell you this. God can speak and say, Pastor Alpha, you will be a mighty man. If you don't have the discipline of constraining yourself to conform to that word, you will keep seeing yourself raising wheelchairs in your dream till you die. You will never see it. There is nothing in the kingdom that does not require discipline. He said, he that warreth is not, he that strives for mastery he says he's not crowned except he strives lawfully. There is no gift of fasting. Hello? Have you ever seen it in the Bible? There is no gift of... Whoever lied to you that fasting, your stomach will not... You will hear all kinds of noise while you are praying. You have to choose between the noise and your destiny. It's the discipline of conformity. Lord, if I stop fasting now, and this grace goes down. What of the people that will be blessed? No, I receive grace. I will pray. You think those who get up in the night and pray and those who fast, just a, a supernatural wind just blew somewhere. No, sir. I'm sorry to say this, but our generation is a very indisciplined generation. That's why we don't become successful. We don't take anything serious. Not just God. Even our destinies. Are we together? You start a business. You open your shop by 12. You close it by 4 at will. You may have a bottle of olive oil in that shop. I guarantee you, you will still fail. Because there is no discipline. Father, if it be thy will take this cup of me but mm, nevertheless nevertheless it is within my power I have the power to lay it down I have the power to take it up I have the power to keep quiet I have the power to speak when they talk against you you have the power to keep quiet so that God will now arise and fight let's not throw everything to God and just make a fool out of our lives you have the power to be disciplined God has anointed you to be a good worship minister. You need to be disciplined to wake up in the night to pray and receive songs. And write and edit and receive songs. As a man of God, you are called, you need to be disciplined. To sit down and take notes and research materials. 
Do you know, let me tell you sincerely, Jordan is here and he'll tell you, do you know how many books I read just for this, this series? You won't believe it. I listened to more than 11 to 15 ministries. Different perspectives. Not because I don't know anything about it. Why will you read so many books just for a series? Everybody say discipline. Please shout it. I know you don't like it. Say discipline. Nothing just happens like that. This is where many of us miss it. There is a dimension of deliverance called the discipline of conformity. You constrain yourself on the strength of what you are looking at. There's too much distraction. You want to be great but anything goes. Oh, someone is marrying somewhere. I need to run and go. Yet God is calling you a man of God. You have a conference in two days. You are there, one naming ceremony there. You are there again to cut, uh, to, to, to one of, you are, you are just moving up and down. And then you wonder why the power of God does not come. Discipline. There are times I am so tired, humanly speaking, let me tell you. Sometimes you see it. I can be so tired the last two weeks I've been ministering every day back to back. You think if I have, if I have my way, what do you think I, I want to be doing now? Just find somewhere, somewhere and, and throw away my phone and, and shut my ears and sleep. It's called discipline. Yes, there is grace. But let me assure you, if you are not disciplined, you are abusing the grace of God. There are many funny graduates around just waiting and believing that with, with indiscipline and carelessness, they don't pay attention to conform to the terms of success. Insult anybody and believe they will prosper. My father is this. No respect for authority. No respect for anything. The discipline of conformity. Philippians chapter 3. We'll read from verse 12 to 15. Philippians chapter 3. Not as though I had already attained. This is Paul. Either were already perfect. The word perfect there is the word mature. But I follow after that if I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. One of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality. The moment you believe you have arrived, the deception of little results, the deception of little success. One thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and doing what? Reaching forth onto those things that are before me. 14. I... The first two words, please speak to me. I remember this was the guy that taught us the Pauline epistles. I press. I press. Have you read that place that the Bible says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling? I press towards the mark. I press. I press towards the prophetic word. It is true. That God has told me you are a deliverer in this family. And the grace has come. That grace will make sure I must be on fire. So I press. I wake up in the night. Shaka patakata. Lord the mantle for the deliverance of these families in my hands. While they are sleeping they can sleep. But I press. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Ah. Let every other name fade away. Listen. Listen. It will take you engaging prophecy through discipline. Otherwise, it will never come to pass. The ministry you have seen in the spirit, no matter how many demons are casted out of you, if you don't cooperate with the spirit to, com to conform, you will never have it. You can sit down and see yourself building, 
building an estate. I saw an estate and I saw a spirit behind the estate. Apostle Joshua Selman can say in the name of Jesus, that spirit go. The spirit has gone. But you do not sustain the discipline to sit down. That discipline may mean upgrading your mind. That discipline may mean you sitting and speaking every day. That discipline may mean you telling certain friends, look, I'm in a new season. I love you. I know we're from the same background, but honestly, I must leave you now. Discipline, I can tell you this from experience. You will never do business with God if you ignore discipline. I think. Don't just think, no, you have a right to do whatever you want to do. It takes discipline. To sit down and count the money and say in the name of Jesus. I know that I, I have what it takes to complete this nice shirt. But in the name of Jesus, I choose to say no. I love my tomorrow more than my yesterday. I love my tomorrow more than today. Spirit of the living God, I will, I will, I will walk with you. I discipline myself. It's better to be hungry today than to eat tomorrow's food today. Are we together? The next time you admire someone with a mighty hand of God, let me tell you, among the many parts of the equation, don't just say he's lucky. There is discipline. I say this with all humility and not to brag. When I stand here by 7, I leave here by 12, almost every Friday. It takes discipline. Do I have to do it? If I say I'm not seeing anybody, nobody's going to even say, Apostle, you have tried. I come and stand here and I go back home and it's not sleep that I'll sleep. Sometimes by five, I have to be up to catch a flight. Say discipline. Don't just say, Kai, God is increasing these people. Discipline. It takes discipline to see God's money and leave it there. Really rest upon your shoulder. I remember a few years ago, we went to a particular hotel, very nice hotel, went for a ministration. And I was preparing for the meeting. The hotel had swimming pools, had a lot of things. And these were wonderful people. I mean, when these guys saw this swimming pool, they were happy. They just went, they were swimming, they were playing table tennis. I was just watching them from my And I laughed. The luxury. But somebody is coming three hours later crying and say lord will you change my destiny and i swim away that person's miracle <laughs> there is a time to swim now is not the time don't get me wrong there is a time to swim are we together discipline there are times that i go to minister somewhere and they prepare a very serious honorarium. And God says, don't collect it. Bless the people. Say discipline. It takes discipline to obey. Lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, take in discipline out of my life forever. Pray. Shabakato sadabalakata. Discipline of conformity. to take my destiny seriously the grace to take my assignment seriously the grace to take the destinies of others seriously that through discipline I can cast out devils from my life discipline in waking up early discipline in studies discipline this one thing I do Forgetting the things that are behind. I press by faith as a sign that I believe my future. Hallelujah. Listen, please sit down. Thank you. If these three levels of deliverance doesn't happen to you, forget about possessing your possession. The spirit may be casted out, but your mindset will allow it to stay. Do you know, for someone, you don't have any spirit in you, but this is the access point. For others, just discipline. God told you 
that there is something you have to read in a book. You bought that book since January till today. And the Spirit of God is waiting for you. And you are saying, Lord, you've not brought your word to pass. And God said, no, 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 no. I answered you since January. The indiscipline to sit down. I will go to Jordan's bookstore tomorrow. Uh, Jordan, is this book around? It will arrive next week. You don't follow up. All successful people, whether in the secular or in this, even those who drink and smoke, they are disciplined. Forget all that acting they do. They are very disciplined. Disciplined with money. There are people like that. God has casted the devourer but indisciplined. You collect a salary of 30,000. You carry your friends immediately to a restaurant and blow up 20,000 and wonder why the spirit of poverty still remains. Discipline. As a student, you are wearing a weapon of 10,000, 20,000 and all your parents give you in a month is 5,000. Say indiscipline. That's right. Indiscipline. I don't cook. You are a student. I don't, it's not, I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. This, this, our pride is what, in Africa especially, is why these spirits never let us go. What of our parents? The discipline of getting, oh, sir, um, God is going to touch you, but can you be disciplined and just wait? Um, I'm not, mm, I, I can't do that, I can't. I, 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 you want life to bless you at your own terms. That's a joke. Who for the joy that was set before him? What did he do? Endured. Endurance takes discipline. Have you seen people in a gym? Someone in a gym trying to work out. Have you seen people laughing in a gym? Except if they are producing videos for you to buy. But if, if they are in a gym, meaning be carrying all those things, look at the world heavyweight. Their faces become ugly. And yet they are determined. While he's doing that, he's seen the trophy already. You need to see something that gives you the strength to not be distracted. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle. see a pattern in your family where all the women marry terrible and unserious men. Watch this now. Now it is true that you have been delivered. That spirit was casted out. Are we together? Please hold on. And then God now helps you to think well. And then God says, wait until my will comes. What does he tell you? Wait until my will comes. But in discipline, your body is itching. All of a sudden, one irresponsible guy just appears from nowhere and says, um, uh, you know how things are, don't keep waiting like this. And you stand and God is telling you the choice is yours. Do you know, if you get up, you know the man is smoking, you know he's drinking. He says, I don't smoke all the time. Once in a while, I say, okay, I can make do with that. Remember, you are making a choice through indiscipline. And God is watching. But I'm supposed to deliver you. I'm, I'm bringing you out. I'm using you as a specimen. And you say, God, I can't wait again. Please, I can't wait. If, if by March or by, by August, this guy, whoever shows up, the devil said, what did you say? Fine. Whoever shows up. And he will just go and drag one funny guy. And just because the guy is in church and he wore a tie and, and talking with belt does not mean that he's serious. And before you know it, through indiscipline. Are we together now? Through indiscipline, you now say, yes, I will marry you. Your father will say, I'm, I'm sensing that you are in danger. I say, daddy, don't worry about me, please. Age is not on my side. And you marry and you find out that the same thing that happened to your elder sister has now happened. It was not the spirit. The spirit was casted. You paid the price to get a correct mindset. The information for your deliverance has been given. But the discipline of conformity was not there. Shout, I will wait. One of the hardest things for believers to do is to wait until the hand of God comes to assist you. This is not just in the issue of marriage. In the issue of job, God says, stay, I will direct you. The next thing you just hear that, okay, there's something somewhere. 
and you say, Kai, I don't, I'm ashamed. The last time I went for a wedding, I saw all my classmates. They were all in cars. And me, they were even asking, what are you doing? Pastor, you are still like this. And the next thing you jump. When, when the devil wants to destroy some people, he will make sure you get visa to US. Whereas your, the will of God for you is in Nigeria. And you smile your way to US out of the program of God. It takes discipline. It would never have been my desire to be in Zaria by this time. No. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever It is possible 
that a man, Jesus himself, how many of you know that his words are powerful? Jesus said, no matter what happens, there is a potential in the kingdom that a man can be completely free. He that the son of man sets free is free indeed. Apostle, this is good news. You mean after 100 years of captivity in my family, there is a way out. That there is a way out. That I can say it is finished. Finally, the chain of barrenness. Finally, the chain of poverty. Finally, that people don't rise in this family. That there is a cause and a yoke. That a time can come in a believer's life where like Jesus you say it is finished. Complete deliverance. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. The cause can go. Yes sir. The barrenness can go. The failure, the retrogression. I saw my father go down. I saw my mother go down. So there is a way out in Christ. Jesus, the son of the living God, said it is finished. He opened a new one, a living way. A pathway that a man can obtain complete deliverance. Not up today and down tomorrow. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Sit down. We are, not, we are not praying yet. That's why we kept the oil here. Because the oil too is here in the salmon. I want to show you a mystery. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is this revelation that makes deliverance a mystery. From part one to three to four. This is where we are coming to now. Listen and pay attention. And let me tell you. I want to show you how I was delivered. Get ready for my... I want to show you what worked for me. I am a testament of this. I would never be where I am today until God himself revealed this by his spirit. And I want to show you complete deliverance. Complete deliverance. I, truly, I came with my heart open. I cried to God and I said, Lord, this, this thing has to go. Everybody shout it is finished. Shout it again it is finished. This is Jesus speaking. Not angel Michael. It is finished. So he gave me access that it is possible. Oh look how healing this is. Ejimi did you know? Look some of you here as I'm talking now. You are just thinking of the mess in your background. That you have been crying and say, Lord, it's just more deliverance I need. Hold on. Some of you here have counseled you. You come from backgrounds where your parents were priests directly. Not that they went to priests. Directly. There are territories here that were dedicated to all kinds of devilish idols. It is finished. I found this years ago. I told you about demons oppressing me. This simple scripture you see. When God shined it in my spirit. I was reading a book really. That's where it came from. But I said Lord I, I, I don't know. But this is what I'm seeing. And then God broke this thing down. That I'm about to show you. Sit down. Sit down. Let's learn. We're going to pray. Experiencing complete deliverance. The first thing I want to talk about quickly and then I will show you the three ways is I want to teach you the legal system of the kingdom very quickly. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Please listen carefully. The, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. Mighty God. 26 and verse 2. Read with me. As a bird by wandering and as the swallow by flying. Uh -huh. So the curse, causeless, underline causeless, shall not come. Meaning, if there is no cause for it, it should not have come. If you ever saw any limitation in your life, there is a system.
of authorization because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come it does not come so the barrenness the failure everything has a reason a curse causeless cannot come if it ever came something authorized it there is the legal system of the kingdom redemption as we know was done on legal grounds Jesus did not just come the Bible says the soul that sinned it shall die it's a law God himself had to submit to that law are we together it says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the son of God did not just become a man and came to the world no the Bible says by one man sin entered so it could not take a spirit to save men it had to be a man Jesus had to be a man I want you to see the legalities that the son of God went through are we together Jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry because in Jewish custom if you were less than 30 you were not considered a man so it wasn't about his spiritual life he had to wait and go through it until he was 30 Jesus could just fall from the sky like Elijah, that people say Elijah the Tishbite. But Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb and was born and cried and could die and grew from a young baby to a young child, teenager, adult, and all of that. He passed through it. There is a legal system in the kingdom. Let me show you something Isaiah 41. Verse 20 and 21. The verse of emphasis is 21. Isaiah 41. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking produce your course bring the legal terms bring before me so abel said i will produce my course and the blood went to heaven and say god have you not said whoever destroys man whoever kills by the lives by the sword shall die by the sword i did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me my blood was cried and god came and said came your brother's blood is crying and he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. I, the dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone. The dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? Bring forth your strong reasons. Why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons as to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life or your family, or your church, or your destiny, whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal
legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. Listen, when you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament. The blood is done, is what? Is shed for many. Why? For the remission. Remission. So a system has been initiated in the spirit. Remission. The word remission means to blot out. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Ephesians 1 verse 7. Then we'll look at Colossians 1 14. Read with me please. 1, 2, read. In whom we have redemption. How? So how does redemption happen? Please talk to me. Redemption. Redemption. Through the blood. The forgiveness of sins. It didn't say the forgiveness of your sins. It doesn't matter whether it's your sins. Our fathers have sinned. There is a system. I used to think he said forgiveness of your sin. No. There is a mystery of atonement. Notice for those of you who cast out demons. Sometimes you see those. They just shout and talk. I won't go. No, 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 no. The blood for the forgive whatever ill to sin means to miss the mark whatever happened around my life whatever happened around my lineage that authorized darkness there is a system of atonement according to the riches of his grace 1 verse 14 Colossians Colossians 1 verse 14 once again in whom we have redemption through his blood even the what I hope you know there is a law in the spirit that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender your heart will be appeased look at this come Sheun if Sheun steals my handkerchief and they catch him my satisfaction is in his punishment is that true as they punish him I now feel appeased. If they don't punish him, I feel bad. So the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Who is the he? Not Jesus. Man in Christ. Because it was at the point of exchange. We offended the father. And according to this law, there is a requisite level of punishment that must appease the heart of the offender. And Jesus said, instead of you and your father, let me stand in for you. So while they beat him and blood came out, the father watched, took his face away. And then the Bible tells us that he was seeing the travail. That means the yoke and the ordinances that they did. Remember, they murdered missionaries in your village. And ordinarily, 
until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that because their blood cries. But then God in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in Christ. The travail. And the father says, that's enough. I set you free. It is finished. Redemption through his blood. Even. So there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins. That your wrongs, your sins. If sins are forgiven, then the consequences they bring are also forgiven. And the authorizations they give is also forgiven. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5. Just follow me closely. Jesus grant us grace tonight. We have to be fast. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. Quickly please. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. And they sung a new song. Saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us unto God. How? By your blood. Out of every kindred. And every tongue. And every. And every. These are the four realms where causes exist. Look at this. Please go back to verse 9. Out of every kindred. Every tongue. Every people. Every nation. Everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could hunt him. When Cain killed Abel, who did Abel's blood hunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should hunt. Had they known this, they would not have crucified who are the day? Satan alongside the principalities and powers. Satan, God made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living God. And then verse 10, he says, he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our God that we reign on earth. The last scripture, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10 to 11. Popular scripture. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now is come salvation and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of the, not the heathen, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Next verse. And they, he had been cast down, but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen, listen. The moment the mercy of God steps in, I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue, my brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that card they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in, notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people, it had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood, even if it was Pharaoh, if Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood, so every time we engage the blood, many believers don't know how to engage the blood. To engage the blood is not just to shout, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood alone. Are we together? It looks like it's drizzling or rain also. Please, if it is, just let the people find a way of stationing them around. We're, we're about to pray, so we'll find a way of making it happen. 
Are we together now? Everybody say the blood. So the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can do justice. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression too. Let's just run it. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Three, for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Four, against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah, Jonah said, God, I'm not going. He said, I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing to remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood, to plead the blood does not mean to coerce it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying, I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. Bring to the Father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ. And that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you're in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken, there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. 
I watched my father cheat people. I watched my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family. If my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways then will i hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins and heal their land and i said lord is a deal and i cried i would never forget that night lord let your grace and your mercy speak for me my grandfather served you until he died even on his deathbed he died for jesus in your anger remember mercy Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me, like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. And God arises from heaven. Many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God. It was the psalmist that would write everything he did on behalf of Israel. And say they should make a poem out of it. Let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord. He said for his mercies endure. He's ever faithful. He's ever sure. He will even say Sila. Think about it. I didn't go to God with a bold face as a man of God. To say, God, let me tell you something. My grandfather was a pastor. I love you. I, I, I don't drink beer. I stand before you in my self-righteousness. Is that pride that kill people. Someone must go down on his knees and say, Lord, a cause causeless shall not stand. There is a reason why we are failing in this family. There is a reason why doors are not opening in this family. And Lord, I stand before you. Who else will I run to, oh God? Will you let men? See, be like the saints of old. They knew how to talk to God. Lord, will the living, will the dead praise you? If you pay me, if you do this, do you want them to say you brought people out of Egypt but could not take them to the promised land? And the Bible will say God repented. Have you heard that? He said, come, let us reason together. That tonight someone can say, God, will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward? What then is the value of your blood? And you would think you are joking and God is listening to you. Lord, is it a crime that I came from the north? Must I fail the failure? Is it a crime that I'm an evil man? Must I fail that failure? Is it a crime? I came from a Muslim background. Now I'm born again. It is true that I went to all kinds of Alpha and the rest. But Lord, will I receive the recompense of sinners? Bring before him your strong reason. And cry for his mercy. I did that. You appropriate the mercy of God in your life. Number two, in complete deliverance, you cannot downplay the power of words. Write it down. The power of words. Your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37. Please, let's hurry up. I already sense fire burning in this place. We'll do this thing very fast. And will pray. Mm. Matthew chapter 12. Verse 37. Jesus said unto him. Matthew 20. Ch chapter 12. 12 verse 37. Matthew 12 verse 37. For by thy words. Thou shalt be justified. I will tell you what words. It's not any words. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You know what the words are? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let those who have become benefactors of his blood 
make that announcement in the realm of the spirit that Satan you heard my conversation with the king of glory and it is unto him I have sinned and he has decided to show me mercy therefore I decree and declare that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I declare that I'm free from all of these chains the Bible says declare ye it looks simple we make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of God. When it has to do with deliverance, the blood opens the door. And then your words, you sound that word to principalities and powers. Words. There's a reason why there was an echo. It is finished. Jesus didn't have to say it. He said it for a reason. And the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom. There is a new and living way that we can step in. I remember the Lord asking me to speak and say, Son, begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness. And I began to pray. I've obtained mercy. I blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I obtained forgiveness. I've been called out of every tongue. I thought it was a joke until my life began to change in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you then with the mouth confession will be made you don't keep quiet the redeemed of the Lord speak the righteousness that is of faith speaks and then number three complete deliverance The ministry of the anointing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The anointing. Luke chapter 4. 17 to 21. Let's look at how Jesus announced his deliverance ministry. The messianic prophecy. And there was delivered to him the book of prophet Isaiah's. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written. 18. Please, let's hurry up. The spirit of the Lord. He's about to deliver now. And he's showing us. So before anything, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had helped me. Anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to preach the, the to heal the broken hearted. He had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has anointed me to recover sight to the blind. He had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. He had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20. We are reading to 21. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. 21. And he began to say unto them this day. When? Talk to me. This day. Say this day. That means from today. Don't be surprised when you see people free. It's what he was telling them. He said, I just read it. Meaning if you see demons flying, it's because an anointing is upon me. And today that ministry starts. This is what Jesus was telling them. He opened the book and showed them. He said, I'm showing you from the book. So you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years. All of a sudden free. This day, I have come as a fulfillment of that scripture. Today, somebody's this day. Because the book has been opened. It is this day. The day the book is opened, that's your this day. The spirit of the Lord. Because he had anointed me. Anointed me. Isaiah 10 27. Isaiah 10 27. This day. This day. This day. And it shall come to pass. When? Notice that everything happens in a day. It shall come to pass in that day. What day? The day your faith chooses. That day, the Bible says, if you, if you hear his voice this day, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. That his burden 
shall be taken away somebody will come and carry it away that means it never will belong to you again notice two things that will be taken a burden and a yoke and the bible says and his yoke from off thy neck it say and the yoke mashana katos kabarakatos the yoke shall be destroyed not because you are tired of it because of the anointing there is an exact anointing that breaks yoke it didn't say because of an anointing there is a particular anointing now let me tell you this not every anointed man can deliver you this is what i want you to get there is the anointing an exact kind of anointing just because a man of god prayed for you i'm telling you this believe me there is an anointing specifically ordained by god the same way there is an anointing that prospers the same way there is an anointing that heals there is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere and you come and do something to it and then it becomes like toy like a piece of paper how do you know you are delivered strange results instant results instant open doors let me tell you deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly My life changed like day and night. If I did ministry without this encounter, I would have been in for a rude shock. I found it. That there was a burden on my neck. There was a yoke. A burden on my shoulder and a yoke from my neck. I remember going to my village and passing around and see well-meaning people poor people i saw how hard working my father was very honest man one of the most honest people i know in my life yet doors refuse to open this man will rise up like this and crash as if god does not exist they were the ones who trained us in the way of the lord i never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol not once my mother served God. She was so innocent. She didn't know anything about witchcraft. It was Nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft. She was that innocent. Yet nothing changed. But when I engaged the blood and I made decrees and this anointing fell from heaven. Are we together now? You see why I said they should keep these bottles here? It's not just because of a ritual. Let me tell you. Except God did not send me. When this oil touches your head, many of you will step into instant visions. Instant visions. Listen. You will, you will see things. All of a sudden, you will start seeing things that had happened before. And God will tell you this is where it started. The same way you go to bed, Hold it for me. Remember while you were doing your prayers, some of you kept seeing yourself. You were seeing where your problem started from. Secondary school, going back, seeing a lot of things. Look at the attack that happened. Some of you, all through while you prayed, you never saw anything good. Night after night, because Satan is a master of the flesh realm. I told you to just continue and don't mind him. The yoke shall be destroyed. I remember that anointing oil when I bought it that night. I left it open in the presence of God. I played Benihin worship from night, from, from morning till night. Soaking everything through my rechargeable. And when I did that thing, I was shaking like a leaf. I knew. There was like a physical mist in my room. And all of a sudden, I carried that oil. When that oil touched my head, that was it. I didn't even know where I was again. 
alone in that room. I woke up many hours with strange visions from that encounter, the revelations of ministry. I started writing like a madman. All of a sudden, doors. See, let me tell you. Do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered but hijacked? By the time this door is open, it's an avalanche. Things would... Look, let me tell you the truth. I'm not joking. You will see people within a short time. A lady that nobody has a business of saying, I want to marry you. The Bible says that how many people will come to you. I know it was speaking about men. But all of a sudden, a brother that was ordained to be your husband. But this wicked spirit will blind and make sure that they don't see you. By the time this yoke is taken. That brother goes to bed this night and God says, what are you waiting for? Your wife has been before you for 10 years. The helper of your destiny standing and watching you like this. But there had been a decree, never help him. And you find out, you will bring a friend, two of you will come to plead for assistance. They will help the friend and leave you. There are some of you here. With the kind of anointing God gave you, you should never be small. But you are even wondering why. I never call for people to come and they come. Something drives them. It was Bishop Oyedeko who was saying when Living Faith Church started, as anointed as he was and he is, their heavens were closed and they were fasting and praying. And the Spirit of the Lord told him, come out. And he came out and he looked. And according to him, he said, he saw something that looked like a dark, a thick layer of dark cloud. And the Lord told him, this is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing. And then he told him to command it. And he declared that a light shines in darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. And he said, the, the, the thing just folded like that. And he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote, come and see. That was it. Living faith took another dimension till tomorrow. When I caught this revelation, that was when I saw that publicity was spiritual. At the point I said it, people thought it was a joke. I don't mean to brag. I'm not saying posters are wrong. You go around this city, you are not going to find one poster. But we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement. Shift it and people will come. You try that and tell people shift it and people say, ah, that's it, I found a reason. There is an anointing. When the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life, I'm telling you, anything that is not him must give way. Are you ready to pray now? Rise up on your feet. Oh, oh. Jesus please pray in the name of Jesus I declare that tonight is my night I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross it must be appropriated in my life tonight therefore I declare Every yoke, every spell, 
every cause, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones. Tonight, I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Verse 9, please. I know today's service may take a few minutes, but I'm pleading with you for the sake of your destiny. 
just be patient with me and let's address this thing this night are we together please don't let the devil many of you will find out right now that you are having the urge to just go is a spirit it's because the spirits are about to be challenged you may come with someone now as i'm talking he wants to ease himself he wants to cough it's a lie it's a spirit i'm about to challenge something now hallelujah now listen this is what will happen i'm going to pray on this oil please listen to the instruction everyone those online just get a bottle of oil so that while i'm praying you can connect if you are with your family members get a bottle of oil even if they are sleeping just touch their head please make sure everybody is touched by this oil are we together if you have faith and you think you will not be embarrassed, you can even, the little oil that is in your hand, you can just place it on your stomach. Ladies, prophetically, you are touching your children unborn to say, no devil, no devil. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Are we together? Praise the Lord. By the time, by the time this oil, we are going to be fast. Now, because of the way it is, um, we are going to station, I believe, are there tables around outside? Or if there are not tables, at least there are, there, are, there are people who will stand. Now, this is what you will do. Please, we are going to coordinate. It's going to be very fast. There might be people falling under the anointing. We'll just help them. Please manage, help the usher so we don't injure anybody. Now, what I want you to do for me, please, just obey instructions. By the time we bless this oil, just a little of it, touch it on your head. If you have a little one, you can touch it on their head and then go back to your seat and start blasting in tongues till you are done. Don't pray anything in understanding. Are we together? Just go back to your seat under the anointing or not. Just find somewhere and pray in the spirit. And by the time I'm done, I'm going to lead us into some serious spiritual prayers and speak over our lives. And then you will go to bed. And let's watch the God of heaven surprise you. Are we together? Please, anything that can spoil, carry it out of the way. Please, let's be fast. Father, in the name of Jesus, you anointed me. And Lord, it is time for your people to rise. This is ordinary oil. But in the name that is above all names, the Lord is asking me to put my hands in all the oils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put my hands prophetically upon every one of this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be an extension of the grace that comes with this office. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place my hand upon this oil. Father, we have had many anointing services in this place. But in the name that is above all names, I command this anointing oil to carry the yoke-breaking anointing. Let it carry the anointing for strange and total deliverance. Whoever must die as a result of this prayer, as this oil comes upon your head, except God did not send me, a sword of judgment will search for them and bring them to the grave. If there is any physical agent that has held your destiny and said for as long as I'm alive, you will not move. People of God, I stand before you and I tell you by the message of the grace that I've received. God will not only take away that destiny, their life will pay for it. In the name of Jesus Christ, please cover them strategically. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, as they come under the influence of this oil, I decree and declare that let the fire from heaven 
not only fall upon their life but turn every situation that must be changed around in the name of Jesus for those online I pray for the various oils you are carrying in the name of Jesus as you anoint yourself and your loved ones let the embargo of darkness no matter how long it has been let it break now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please let's have people let's have them come quickly quickly you can start coming um, just coordinate them I, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it but we'll have to find a way yes you can find a way of even if it's for you to come and we can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is please very very quickly make sure you are praying in the spirit hallelujah praise the lord now listen listen i want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly just find someone find a neighbor somewhere in the next our time is gone but in the next three minutes all i want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit just pray in the spirit go ahead and pray Go Jesus lay your hands on your head fire is burning in this place say in the name of Jesus I declare in this season may the glory of the Lord that is upon my head begin to speak now open your mouth and pray thou O Lord are a shield you are my glory you are the lifter the lifter a man's head can be lifted shekete kato parakatos shabaratoka sadabekata I declare the glory of the Lord upon my head be lifted Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Say in the name of Jesus. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny. Say it again. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny by the power. 
power of the Holy Ghost be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Every chain, every chain, every chain. Alakato shabakata, rakata sate kato sekete, rekete kete dekete kete bos. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the border. And the stars fought for the border. And the sun and the moon fought for Joshua. And the earth fought for the woman. We command the elements of creation. Align yourself. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow. Therefore, I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Shabbatakatos, ketabrakatosheketa. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, for out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare, come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Shaka to go to break it, take it, take it, in the last son of Pratas Cavaracos, Shashia Catavaraca to Soto Brigit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership. In helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are. And say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to the north. Say it. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. 
I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere. My help. Has been ordained. To come from. In the name of Jesus. I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry sent and programmed for the, from the fathers to oppress the people of God right now by fire I declare by fire I declare by fire release their glory now I declare by fire Shobakatos Katarikato Embre every legal ground I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ the spirits of delay that sit upon people's destinies so they don't move forward right now in the name of Jesus may the power of the Holy Ghost through this oil you have made contact with command those devils to live now the spirits of barrenness not just biological barrenness that makes that nothing works in your life you study you go and write exams you fail you get money you do business you fail you get a job they fire you in the name of jesus i command by the power of the holy spirit may that devil live your life now and forever ladies i'm praying for you now there is a spirit that draws only married men or wicked ungodly men to certain sisters they don't know why no responsible person comes to you right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in this category i command that devil come out of them now come out of them now come out of them now any spirit husband any spirit wife any demonic entity manipulating you in the night coming to oppress you in the name of jesus i declare now be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus, the of jesus. there's anyone here i say it again you always have dreams seeing yourself in your former house seeing yourself in your secondary school seeing yourself repeating something you have already done right now i shift you speed to your life i cause the spirit of delay speed to your life i cause the spirit of delay speed to your life I'm praying for people here every year or every two two years 
or every three three years the same pattern repeats in your family either someone dies or someone loses their job or something happens right now the yoke that creates patterns I stand in the name of Jesus and I break it from your life I break it from your life by the blood of Jesus I break it from your life the moment something good is about to enter your hand you go to bed and you have a dream something strange happens and you lose that thing it must find a way of leaving you I pray for you now in the name of Jesus everything that makes sure that you see things but never handle them I cast that spirit from your life now I cast that spirit from your life now I cast that spirit from your life now hallelujah I want to pray for you now whatever pattern you saw in your parents and you are seeing it now in your life it could be poverty it could be hardship it could be failure Jesus declared that it is finished by the blood of the eternal covenant he declared that it is finished therefore I stand right now I separate you from any pattern in your life that is tied to your lineage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I pray for students the moment you enter the exam hall something happens to you that you cannot explain I pray for you may the fire of the spirit separate you from failure forever separate you from failure forever separate you from failure forever with me you will thank me for this prayer I'm praying this is what I did for myself we're rounding up listen there are people here it's not delay that you face but what can be done in two weeks, it will take you almost one year. So it's like you are crawling to achieve things in life. Right now in the name of Jesus, the spirit responsible for that wickedness, I command it to live your life now. Hallelujah. There are people here, you have never had one month in good health. It's a pattern you saw. You can treat malaria non-stop for three years. You can treat headache non-stop for four years. You can treat all kinds of infirmity. That one is no longer sickness. Pay attention, I'm praying for you. It's a pattern. You saw your father live on drugs forever. Your mother live on drugs forever. Now it's happening to you. Right now in the name of Jesus, May the power of God set you free from that pattern now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray. Please, just be patient with me. There are many other things we would not do. Once I'm done, my conscience, I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't finish what I'm doing to you. Now, whether you believe in the prayer, put, put down your hands. Whether you believe in the prayer I'm about to pray or not, just be patient with me. Are we together? This is an intense deliverance session. Just pay attention. As you grow in the spirit, I pray that one day you will understand. There's no time to explain everything to you. But I want you to just listen to me and watch what the Holy Spirit does. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit, 
the water and the blood these are the same three elements of covenants the spirit the water and the blood I'm praying now if there is anyone connected by witchcraft spirit entities dedicated to your life and you were attached with them knowingly or unknowingly he is called the father of spirits therefore I decree and declare every spirit connected to you lose them right now and let them go lose them right now and let them go I'm still praying for you. Listen to my prayer. The water is a very strange mystery. Every water on earth is older than every man. It's the same water the saints drank that we still drink. There is no water that comes from anywhere. It's a cycle that repeats itself. And the Bible says this thing you see is a witness. Is a witness. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, there are spirits that operate in this domain. And let me tell you something. Truth be told, this is only false when it is relative to the power of God. The strongest operation in the demonic kingdom are marine spirits. Listen to me very carefully. Many ignorant people have no idea of what I'm saying. 80%, 8 out of every 10 people are tied by this mystery of the spirits that operate in water. When the spirits that were casted out of the man in Gadara left, they, were, they drove the swine right into water. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Just lift your hands and be silent and let me pray. Especially for those of you that live around River Rhine areas. After today, don't worry, you can believe anything you want to believe. But right now I stand. Shakoto Sataka. Rekete Kato Shabariata. I declare every marine power holding down anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names. In this night of deliverance, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, let them go now. Any dedications that have to do with marine powers, I release you from it now. 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 This is my family. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah.
let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen in here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be 
broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains over flow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray that if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Shantaikatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper. Every snake. Scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement i command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring 
that lady. That lady going back. I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you're a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes, be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please Restoration, Kado Soda Restoration, I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Elama Saba Sana Katoshia Magata. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house he may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now 
and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca I'm hearing a name Rebecca Rebecca You are seated on the throne Stand up You are Rebecca That's the person I'm talking about Come Stand up You are seated on the throne Madam Where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You program. came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja? Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia. The place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes. Come, I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now, in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. I, ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudos. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you. That makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you. I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not. There is something. There's a spirit in you. That attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the land. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Anyone from that region. That's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. Shabatakato seketebas. Shabrakato skata. The strong men within those regions. Let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave. The spirits of ancestry. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. Please lift your hands. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But there are people here. Why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing. I just saw it. I don't know where they are. They are in almost every overflow. There are representations. 
Lord Jesus, anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing, let that anointing come. This is your moment now. Receive it now. Ordained by God to receive this anointing today. Ordained by God to receive the grace for healing. I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team. Two people worship team. That anointing, that grace. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. The anointing to heal the sick. You don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God from the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension. Just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. The grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. All these people that leave them. Their loved ones are just fine. Once they are 
don't please if, if you are not related to the people don't please don't come here we're going to pray generally if you if you do it like that there will be chaos how about you yes, sir, my in-law your in-law yes sir what do you mean your in-law from the United States okay all of you your loved ones are missing your loved one is missing who is that your younger brother yes, sir. missing since when 2014 2014 yes they've not seen him yes sir you see how satan works how can somebody leave home for you to sympathize with people put them in your shoes imagine that your child left home and said mommy i'm coming and never comes back i'm prophesying to you three years your child went and said mommy i'm coming until today come mama give her the mic hold on mama your ch your child is alive this boy you see are they twins or is he the same person this one this is the only one what happened to him he left school i put him in APU. he refused poly he refused he's busy taking drugs going about lying to people that his parents are dead all over times they call me in the police station or your state but I caught that is arrested i don't know how they set him free at times you see our honestly let me speak towards young people it's, it's okay mama is your only son that's all yes you, that's how you know it's a spirit because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother and then the devil decided to it, will the lady not marry and go huh he's very intelligent in school he was in the he left the school and go away what's his name awal is his name awal awal yes Hi. we are going to pray like a month ago from what god is showing me this boy had problem with police they were smoking in the they were they, smoking he, Igbo. He, police he came and packed them with he his friends drugs. this is what mama let me talk to you now i'm the one talking to you i know you see when you see me pray about this this drug this thing that drug is a spirit it's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing it's not just because of the physical thing it gives i'm telling you that thing is a spirit if you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing counseling is not the way out there is a real spirit that must be casted out are we together some of you here right now seated in this program you love god but that what what they, they call it codeine again uh, mama 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 don't worry it's it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them hundred naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about your situation who is this my brother it's my mom younger brother your for mom's over, younger brother yes for missing. over 10 years we have not seen him 10 years yes you've not sir. seen him oh pray how about you sir my elder you're brother. the pastor that came from worry yeah. okay. from delta state from delta state okay. uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago we really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. 
and I'm saying this I'm using this mother as a point of contact not just to every mother here but to all our mothers the force that wants them to labor and die in pain go to their graves in pain we challenge that force now in the name of Jesus Christ it's an error to sow and someone reap in the name of Jesus every true mother that has labored to sow may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. father in the name of Jesus I'm praying everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here I connect them back now in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you I connect them back now in the name of Jesus Jesus called Lazarus and when he called Lazarus he came out I call them by their various names in the spirit for as long as they are alive and walking on this earth I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families those who have been jailed because you see some of these people let's be very fair some of them they they smuggle their way out of the country they go to Libya they go to all of these places some of them go to do prostitution unfortunately some of them go because they want to make money someone tells them come travel and all of that so some of them they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ may they be reconnected back to you in Jesus name God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing I hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but I will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me I'm looking at you the Lord is telling me to tell you August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands August 7th don't forget write it father in the name of Jesus I pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me August 7th I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time I'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring ordinary when you see a ring you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage maybe marriage to families but this one God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives right now I stretch my hands that's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying but you just allow me pray every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now let this be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 
fire is coming on you now. I command that they let you go now. For some of us, when good things are about to happen, just when you are about to get it, you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream. As soon as you wake up from that experience, no matter what it is, it's gone. Whether it is favor, whether it is breakthrough, fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three, oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer, I pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This lady with lime, yes, you come. No, look at me, look at me. I'm talking at that one with you, yes, come. Where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain, you will be in trouble. Open eyes is not something just for prophets. It's one of the true riches of the kingdom. You must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her, she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing, praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer. Until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now. And then tell somebody, it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else. But it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if... God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl. But this is the operation in her life. There are people... Do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see. That if they don't get discernment, they go around saying... Someone now may not see this correctly. 
and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um hey, Jimmy, hey, Jimmy and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great.
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, O oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. 
it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus. May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. In the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours, let there be that miracle. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it. Could be patterns, could be whatever it is. I stretch my hands right now. And in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person return as a mother of joyful children the anointing that makes things work the grace for performance i release that grace upon your life everything that is upon your hand now i command it to work in the name of jesus christ and i announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders 
strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this Bible fall in love with the Word of God an appetite for the Word of God I release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack I cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria specifically for Zaria we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and in the name of Jesus we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people may the angels of the Lord in the name of Jesus secure the borders of this city secure the borders of the north and we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you are here and you need Jesus desperately keep standing please you need Jesus desperately desperately you're saying man of God I need Jesus as a matter of urgency I have seen the value I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life hitherto every time I hear about Jesus I I resent him I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him but from tonight's meeting the Holy Spirit has convicted me and I testify and with all humility I declare that I need him second category of people man of God I love Jesus with all my heart but I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if God does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium I'd like you to walk out here quickly overflow three I'd like you to run to your projector stand very quickly I'm counting one to five and we're done one God bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive it's not good for your destiny Jesus I love you I want to make a genuine decision for you three please if they are coming from other overflows clear the way for them you are running to Jesus don't be ashamed no man condemns you 
You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus. I declare that I'm a child of God. The grace to walk in victory is mine. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. Father, we give you all the glory for drawing these ones. No man can come to you except you draw them. I pray that the grace that keeps men, let that grace keep these ones. The grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert. All of you, there will be a group of people who will join you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.